What's going on, CDO fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see on the screen, I have all the rosters, or at least the rumored rosters, filled out into their little boxes. And I want to play around with the teams, move players to different spots, and see what we can see coming up with these MW2 teams. If you do enjoy CDO content, make sure to like and subscribe. My channel's been growing a ton recently, which I really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 500 subs by the end of the year, and I can't do that without your support. So please subscribe if you enjoyed this content. First things first, let me just hide my cam real quick so you can kind of see the rosters up here in the top corner i could keep my cam off the whole time not really sure exactly how i want to do it you can all let me know down below because i'll be updating these types of videos and this graphic as roster mania continues to progress but you can see we also have you know optics in the corner that was part of what was blocked and then the minnesota rocker rumor team is also over here in the corner that was also blocked so you can see we have every team as well as all the notable free agents down at the bottom in the white bar a ton of notable free agents from you know veterans all the way over to challengers players that were top of the top last year first thing i think we have have to look at is the Atlanta face situation. So right now I have Slasher slotted in here in this spot. It's definitely interesting. Uh, we're not really sure exactly who they're going to get. According to Zuma on stream, he said that they've already secured their fourth and it's someone you're not expecting. So maybe it isn't going to be Slasher in this spot and it's going to be someone totally different that we haven't thought of. Whether it's like an insight buyout maybe from Toronto or maybe like, I don't even know, a Pred or a Sib buyout from, you know, the Seattle Surge. Anything's really possible here with this spot. But according to Zuma, it's someone we won't expect. So for me, that means it probably isn't Slasher. Arsides looks like he's going to LAG. I mean, he changed his profile picture to kind of a purpley color, and it's obviously been rumored that he's going into this LAG roster here with Spark, Hook, and Neptune. Definitely an interesting team. Uh, not my favorite roster, but it looks like what is going to be the LAG roster for next season. Paris and Florida and, and London, I think, are the three big question marks in this offseason so far. Paris, pretty much all we know is that they have Temp. Florida, we know they have Dave Patty, as well as apparently they're targeting to bring in Standy as that their core duo to build around and then where everyone's assuming that london is going to be keeping trey um and then paul x has also looked like he's he's slightly leak slash rumored to be going over here so that's kind of what i have in for those slots i think looking at london i i would say it's realistic to expect them to try to bring in maybe like a warty beans duo or maybe like a warty nasty duo since i believe they still already have nasty under contract i can see this being realistic unfortunately that would send gizmo out of this team um maybe keep him on the bench or you know i don't really know how this roster would go i could see this being a realistic team for this roster kind of keeping with their eu theme as well as bringing in paul x i think an interesting thought here for this new la paris i wonder if they'll change their logo but for right now it's gonna be the paris logo for this new la team i think an interesting thought here would maybe be to bring in a guy like asim to play your your you know your aggressive smg route man type role in front of temp and then maybe even bring in another smg like capsule pair alongside asim capsule is a little bit slower of an smg a little bit more of a slayer could be interesting to pair him alongside asim and then in your main ar i mean you could slot in clay you could slot in crim i mean any of these you know any of these main ars are here major maniac maybe um a slasher possibly but we're not really sure what's going to be going on with slasher just yet it looks like that boston is trying to bring in slasher or at least that's the rumor trying to bring in slasher even though they did bring methods in on that that, uh, game launch extension but maybe this could be what we're seeing from the boston roster with slasher bringing in awakening the pair alongside their smg duo from last season looking at florida it's kind of tough to figure out who they bring in you already have dave patty as your main ar already a slow ar so let's say methods on the board definitely not going to be bringing in methods maybe you try to bring in crim to play your flex role could be interesting it's going to be tough i don't know if crim's really going to get a spot this season maybe they bring back havoc over here to pair alongside standy and then look to bring in someone like Maybe Priesta to play your, you know, your your flex role could be interesting for this Florida team. The Subliners is also a team that's looking for a flex. I could see them bring in someone like Gunless, who apparently I don't even have on here. I could have sworn I had Big P on here, but let me add him right there. Let's make him a little bigger there. You know, you know he's a Big P after all. But maybe you bring in kind of like a gun list to play your flex in front of Skies. And then you have uh, Hydra and Kismet, who seem to be a very solid duo as your uh, SMGs. I think this team could be pretty solid. Not the greatest, but I think it's a realistic roster for NYSL. I really don't know what FaZe is going to be doing in this scenario. So for now, I'm going to just slide Slasher back up here and slide Zinni back in here. I think that's a little bit more realistic. But I mean, if you look at these teams, right? Like, let's say this is what we're looking at. There's so many free agents or people 
people that aren't on teams that is kind of unexpected. Obviously, you have Crim6 is the big standout here that wouldn't be making a roster if this was the hypothetical teams. You have guys like, you know, Gizmo, who was on the sub, or on the subliners, on the, the Ravens last season, who looked pretty good, maybe stays on as a substitute, but not really sure about him. You got Tej, you got Major Maniac. Prestini maybe stays as a sub over here on phase, maybe follows our cities over to the Gorillas. Not really sure. I mean, you have Brack. You have Harry, you have Salt, you got Tom Gravity, Mohawk, Vickle, Beans. So many great players, and a lot of these Challengers players have been rumored to be talking to teams. Maybe as substitutes, maybe as starting spots, we're not really sure. But I just wanted to play around with my little roster mania, roster uh, Photoshop thing here. And I will be continuing to update this as we go along further into roster mania. We have more confirmed deals. If you want to see more of this, make sure to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.